Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, a game called Wyvost Game. It's a two player game and you have two piles of stones and you can take as many stones as you want from uh, either pile or from both piles but if you take from both piles you have to take the same number of stones from both piles and the player who takes the last stone loses so for example if you start with one and three you can win by taking all three stones from the second pile and that leaves the other player with only one stone so it's a very simple game um, so can you work out why if you've got two stones in each pile that you would also lose if the other player plays correctly. Um, to work out where the losing squares are let's imagine X to count how many are in pile 1 and Y to count how many in pile 2 and we make a grid so this direction is the in pile 1 and this is in pile 2 so we know at the start that if you've only got one stone in either pile that is a losing square and if you can reach that position from your current position then that's a winning square so all these blue ones are winning squares but this one here is a losing square because you can't reach a winning position from there uh, well you can't uh, you can only reach winning positions for your opponent from that square and then if you can reach that square those are winning squares and that leaves these two as losing squares and so on and if you keep doing that what you end up with is a straight line a straight-ish line and the interesting thing is that the gradient of this line if we look at the numbers they actually approximate the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 which is a golden ratio so then I wondered about this game well what happens if you have three piles and I had a look at what happens with three piles now obviously if you've got zero in the third pile you get exactly the same thing you get this straight line of losing squares so I thought maybe uh, in 3d you're gonna get some sort of straight lines but it turns out uh, and I think this is quite interesting that the symmetry breaks down so the rules for the three pile version are exactly the same you can take from three piles or two piles but if you do you have to take the same number of stones that's the rules so if there's zero in the third pile it's the same as the original Wyvoth's game but if you've got one in the third pile these are the losing squares so the line starts to break down if you've got two in the, the third pile these are the losing squares and four and five six seven eight nine eight, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen this is interesting you've got a sort of arc of losing squares here 14 15 16 17 19 20 21 22 and the pattern is really it's complicated it looks almost like it's a fractal 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 
41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So all of the region close become losing squares as you start to have more piles than the last in the third pile. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Uh, and it's worth mentioning if you swap the piles it's essentially the same game so there's a symmetry between all three piles which is why we've got this line of symmetry always 63 64 65 66 68 69 70 71 and I put the gray the gray lines here are just to represent every 10 so the 0 is the is when there's 0 and then it's 10 20 30 40 50 so this one here is 10 20 30 40 50 51 uh, and and 9 so 51 9 71 is a losing square that's this square 72, 76, 77, 78, 79, and I only did up to 80, so this is an 80 by 80 grid, 80 by 80 by 80 grid in three dimensions. Um, and yeah, back to the start again. So I was quite surprised because I thought it was going to be sort of radial lines, but instead we get this very sort of interesting sort of fractal shape emerging so I thought I'd make a short video about it to uh, share that with you